Hey gang, uh, well, we're breaking in the new Strat and I thought it'd be nice to do a Stratty sounding Hendrixy thing. So today we're gonna do the opening to Yellow Lead Better by Pearl Jam, uh, basically right out of the Hendrix playbook. So we'll show you that little intro and then show you how to play around with the, with the chords, the Hendrixy sort of moves there, all right? That's it. All right, hey, if you like this one, give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for one or a couple of these every week. We'll see you in just a second. All right, gang, let's go over this now up close. Um, I'm going to play what I played in the opening, but also I want to show you a few different options because I think Mike McCready plays it pretty for freeform, as one should play Hendrix freeform. And so just kind of knowing the ideas is helpful because then you can come up with your own. But we'll do the first couple bars as in the regular intro and then show you what else you can do. All right. Having said that, the first thing you should do is download the tab because it's going to probably help you. That's in the link of the description uh, of the video. You'll find a link in there to the tab. All right, so um, let's talk briefly about the sound now. Now, uh, I'm playing it out of the neck pickup on this Strat guitar, and uh, but I think you should play, you should experiment a little bit on that. I think a number of positions sound good. I think particularly position four, which is the middle and bridge, sounds nice. Um, second thing is, um, I understand that Mike McCready also plays it with some gain on it live. So it's a little bit distorted sounding or overdriven. Whereas on the record, it's pretty darn clean. So here's what I'm doing. Um, I'm setting it so that there's a little bit of breakup when I play on 10, and then I'm pulling it back just a little bit to clean it up just a little bit. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So here it is on with a volume knob on 10. <laughs> And here it is backed out just a little bit. And you'll have to play around with it because all tone knobs or all volume knobs are a little bit different. You'll have to figure out what works for you. But anyway, I need to back out to around eight and a half or so. I find is pretty sweet on this. And that sounds kind of good to me. But again, you have to pick whatever works for your guitar and your ears. Pick a sound that you like. All right, so. Let's now, what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to try and play this, um, I'm going to try and play this slowly, and then we'll break it down line by line, all right? Now, I always have a trouble playing this slowly because it's already pretty slow, so I overthink it. Anyway, we're going to start out with a smear on the sixth string and then play the uh, E chord here on 999, four, three, and two strings. All right, so here we go. etc. So there we go. More or less what's going on there. Now, you know, you noticed I was doing a wraparound with the thumb, which I'm not all that great at, but I'm starting to get used to it. And uh, you don't have to do it that way. I'll show you how to do it without it as well. Okay, so let's cover first the intro, and then we'll do some other things that you can do. Just show you briefly some other things that you can do. All right, so <clears throat> now one thing to do about this is to really think about what the chords are. It turns out that the chords are super duper simple. It's simply an E, B, A, E. And it repeats. Okay, so <clears throat> it's really a three chord song. It's E, B, and A back to E. All right, so the only thing that we need to know is two tricks for this opening. One is the 
how how can I put it? The uh, this chord right here, which is the the root on the fifth for the E, right? We've got this chord right here, uh, seven on the fifth uh, string seven, and then we've got four, three, and two on the nine. But instead of doing that, we're going to move this note, uh, which is the root. We're going to move it to the third, right? Play it up here. And we're going to Hendrix style hammer on. So from on the fifth string, we're going to hammer on from the from the nine to the eleventh, right? Okay, so you need to know that. And then there's just another little uh, little trick we'll do. So let's just start out with the song proper and do it. So the first thing starts out with a little smear. Doesn't matter where you start. And hit an open E. Okay. Then we'll come up to here and we'll bar across <clears throat> five, four, three, and two strings. And and we're going to hammer on a, a bunch of times. We're going to hammer on from the from the ninth to the eleventh. So the first one is just on the fifth string. 9 to 11 and then play that E chord and then cut it off. All right, so we've got this. Very Hendrixy. Right? Okay. So we'll let that cut off and then we'll play this. So this is just playing 4 and 3 strings on barred on the 9th. And then hammer on on the third string to the 11, pull off, and play the 11 on the fourth. All right, so now we've got... Oops, I'm sorry. Let me try that again. We've got... All right. So now we'll come up to our next chord, which is a, a B. Now... Uh, I hear him kind of sliding up, and I'm using my thumb to slide up and kind of holding on that while I play this. Now, what I want you to do is think of this. Think of the B with the root on the fifth. I'm sorry, on the sixth string, and you bar that. All right, it's just like playing an open E, and then you just bring it up. The seventh fret, and you've got a you've got a, a B chord. Now, if you can free up your first finger somehow, that's going to give your fingers a lot of a lot of freedom to kind of hammer on. And that's the sort of thing we're hammering on with this with this form. We're going to hammer on to the uh, from the seven to nine on the first string. And on the second strings, again, seven and nine. On the third string, we've got we've got this one right here, which is the eighth, and we can go eight to nine. And then on the fourth string, we've got that root, which is the ninth fret. All right, so. All of those work. Now, if you're holding down the fort with the with the thumb, that frees up everything else. But again, even if you're playing this, your pinky has to do more work. But it still works okay. So if you can't do the thumb thing, just go ahead and do this and practice those hammer ons until you get them. And you can make them sound pretty darn good. All right. So anyway, the second one is going to come up like this. Okay. So that's just a pull off on the ninth. So you've got the thumb thing going up to the seventh and you hold that down. And then you've got, you essentially finger a B chord with the rest of it, starting with the fourth string. So you've got nine, eight, seven, and then on the first string, you've got nine. So you can pull off to seven with that pinky. All right. So that's the first one. And then you can play. So that's just playing a normal B on the 
four three and two one strings and then playing it with the uh, putting your finger your pinky down on the ninth then you shift down two strings and do the same thing so hear how that is a, a hammer on on the four and three uh, four and three strings from the sixth to the seven on the third all right so very straightforward so this one is on the e to the open E. And a little lick right here. That's simply 12-12 on the first two strings. Slide up to 14 and then play 12-12. And then on the second string you're playing 14, third string 11. Here it is. That's it. Now the second time he does it through, it's a little bit different, but it's basically the same idea. A little bit different timing. So here's a little arpeggio. We're going three. Again, we you finger that chord, which is a you know B with the ninth on the B, right? So uh, it happens to be the ninth fret, but it's also the ninth of the scale in this case. So you've got 9, 8, 7, and 9, and you're playing 3rd string, 4th string, and then 1st string, and then you're strumming the whole chord, and then pulling it off on the 1st string. So like this. And then going back and forth. Alright, so that one goes... Slide down again two frets. Okay, so that one is. This time he keeps that suspended sound. He could come back and do that, that'd be fine, but he does leave it up. So that's um, really is um, the heart of that is on the third string going from six to seven, holding it and then playing five on the first. Like that. And then of course at the end, we're just playing a, a on the first two strings, 12, smearing it up as far as you want. I think I have in the tab written to 19. And then coming down on the, on the sixth string. It really doesn't matter where you start. I think I have 16 written, but it's got to be quick. All right, so that is it. And like I said, you can bar it, you can play it with your thumb. Either one sounds good, but that's the idea is you're just playing around with those two chords. So uh, again, if you uh, give you some idea um, of, of the E chord, we can hammer on and pull off to any of these. Uh, that are in the pentatonic scale. So the pentatonic scale for E right here is this. For E major, sorry. So any of those are going to sound good. It's going to sound good. You can slide into it. All of those are going to sound good, so just keep it in time and play around with it. On the B or the A, if you keep these, remember that you're hammering on and pulling off uh, from the 7 to the 9 on the first string. So, and on the second string it's 7 to 9, third string it's 8 to 9.
On the third string, you can do some other things, but or on the fourth string, you can do some other things. But just on the top three strings, that's enough. <laughs> The more you play around with it, the more ideas you'll get. All right, I think that's it. All right, gang, well, there you have it. Short and sweet, Yellow Lead Better by uh, Pearl Jam. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little, nice little stratty thing uh, to do to break this guitar in. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on down the road.